So for this demonstration, what I've got here is a metal ring and a steel ball bearing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the bearing inside the ring and we're gonna roll it around. You can see it rolling in this nice complete circle all the way around the metal ring. However, I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna put in this metal ring with a break. So instead of our nice complete circle, I have this partial circle that I'm gonna put down. And I want you to think of what you expect to happen when I roll this ball bearing around the broken circle. So I'll start here at the top and I'm gonna roll it clockwise. So obviously the weird part of this ring is gonna happen right in here. That's the only part that's different than our last example. So what do you think will happen when the ball gets to here? Will it keep rolling, continue in the circle, will something different happen? If you have a hypothesis, I'm gonna go ahead and do it and we'll talk about what we can observe. Here we go. So what we could see happen is the ball rolled all the way around the circle, just like normal until it hits the break right here. As soon as it gets to that break, instead of moving in a circle, it continues in a straight line. This matches up really well with what we already know about Newton's first law, which says objects in motion will stay in motion. So if I roll it again, it rolls off in that straight line. That's Newton's first law. Without that centripetal force, it can't turn, it can't change directions, but it keeps on moving. 